We learned today, right? The cost of renewable energy is continuing to fall, as I've told you all many times will happen. In addition, Joe Biden has just made solar a whole lot cheaper in the US. Kudos to him for doing that. And then I saw this building in Melbourne and it's really cool. You need to see it as well. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name is Sam Evans for those of you who are new to the channel and today I'm coming to you from Indonesia. Normally I work from my office in Melbourne in Australia and as many of you know I've got two boys Jack and Cal. Cal's five, Jack's eight and they race BMX. They love it. I put videos up on their channel of what we do together going to races and all that kind of stuff and i'll put a link in the description below to their channel if you want to jump on there and check out some of their videos or subscribe to their channel they would be absolutely stoked so what's going on with renewable energy well as many of you know you think i'm crazy but it will happen i'll be right i'll be proven right on this one i'm more certain of this than anything else i've said on this channel the cost of energy will be a marginal cost within the next 20 years because of why well things like sodium batteries right there is a metric shit ton of salt on this planet sodium batteries are 30 percent cheaper than lithium iron phosphate batteries energy storage will be so incredibly cheap in 20 years time solar continues to come down in price so does wind and sure we have little blips and things happen here and there but overall the cost has declined enormously in fact by 89 percent over the last 20 years incredible first of all the biden administration has slashed rent by 50 percent on u.s public land for wind and solar this means it will cut the cost of building wind and solar on u.s public land by 50 percent there's a lot of land in the world where solar is absolutely perfect the sun shines most of the year and when you have really cheap energy storage sodium batteries i'll put a link in the description below to the batteries that will change the world if you haven't seen that video it's one of my most viewed videos you need to see that it shows you how catl the world's biggest battery company well they've already got them in production i mean this is not some sort of mythical solid state battery this is the real deal so the doi in the us is working to permit 25 gigawatts of clean energy on public lands by 2025 that's enough to power 5 million homes in 2021, the U.S. Bureau of Land Management permitted nearly three gigawatt hours. That's a 35% increase from 2020. Now, you can imagine how well this would work here in Australia, where we basically have 90% of the country as a desert. Now, on the same day that I heard about Joe Biden slashing the cost of renting U.S. public land for solar installations, we learned that the cost globally of renewables has fallen again as installed capacity has increased. Researchers Mark Bollinger, Ryan Weiser and Eric O'Shaughnessy collected data on renewables from 908 wind farms and 822 solar operations in the US, which by the way is nowhere near as sunny as many countries around the world, all of them larger than 5 megawatts in capacity for the wind farms, they collected data from today back to 1982 when modern utility scale wind farms first appeared in the US. For solar, the data goes back to 2007, which is when the first utility scale solar photovoltaic projects larger than 5 megawatts were built in the US. The research was published recently in the Journal of Science. What the researchers found is that people operating renewables like solar and wind farms are learning to do so more efficiently. This will continue, right? lowering the levelized cost of electricity. Mark Bollinger, a research scientist at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, said the same is true for financing those renewable energy facilities. Which leads me all to this Melbourne office building, which is one giant solar panel. In other words, yeah, every surface on this office building is solar. And it's not small. Now, Steve Hanley, one of my favorite journalists from cleantechnica.com, says that solar power is coming to a new office building in Melbourne, Australia. It's a very big building. And this is thanks to architect Peter Kennan. The building will be clad entirely in scalar thin film solar panels from Germany's Avances. 
The H3 building will cost $40 million and will be covered in 1,182 solar panels, the same thickness as a regular glass facade. Now, this stuff is just absolutely revolutionary. And imagine if these panels covered every building in every city in the world. The cities could literally power themselves. Although the scalar solar skin has been improved for use in Europe, it has never before been applied to a building in Australia. It is undergoing a final round of testing before it is approved, at which point the technology would be available for use in other buildings all over Australia. The decision of the Building Appeals Board in April found construction of the building could go ahead. And the use of PV panels on the building complies with performance requirements. Since construction relies on heavy machinery, as well as transport and manufacturing processes powered by fossil fuels, most buildings start with a pretty significant carbon footprint. They create a lot of pollution. That's just the reality we have to deal with. According to the World Green Building Council, cement production is responsible for 7% of all emissions globally. Cement production causes 7% of the world's entire global emissions. Steel production is responsible for between 7 and 9% of emissions. Those numbers will, of course, come down drastically once all mining or production of steel and concrete is done using renewable energy rather than coal. With its solar power skin and a solar roof that will be added once the structure is completed, the new building is expected to generate all the electricity it needs, which will avoid 70 tonnes of carbon dioxide emissions annually. So did you hear that? This building will generate all the energy it needs. So yeah, if every building was covered in this skin, this solar skin, every building would have enough power for all of its energy needs. That is absolutely mind-blowing. Over time, those avoided emissions will more than offset the embedded carbon from construction and allow the building to be carbon neutral within a few years without relying on offsets and other accounting measures. So remember, right, we created all these emissions by using, all, by making all that concrete and all that steel. And then we're able to remove those emissions. Peter Kennan said this, the architect, and I love this architect. I mean, more architects need to be like this guy. These things are possible. And the fact that a building can harness the sunlight from its own skin, it sounds like something you dreamed of or you saw in a cartoon. He first learned of the scalar solar power skin in 2019. He's been waiting for a chance to introduce this technology to his home country. He said, Australia has one of the most, if not the most, strict building codes in the world. Yeah, that's true. They're anal retentive here. They introduce new rules every minute of the day. So there's a huge amount of due diligence that needs to go into proposing a product like this. We did not invent the product, but we've invented the way it can come to our country here in Australia. And our country is such an enormous market because of the access to sunlight. I can't believe it hasn't been done already. That's my question. Why has this not been done already? Why is the government in Australia making this hard? Why had this not been done back in 2020 or 2019 when this product was first launched? This is what can change our cities. Really, let's be honest, a lot of our carbon emissions come from our cities, right? This is one way we could remove a vast amount of those emissions. And I've got to say, it's extremely exciting. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Could you imagine all buildings being covered in this solar film, producing enough power to power themselves? To me, that's the future of the planet. That's what the future looks like. And boy, oh boy, is this a future that I want to be part of. Let me know what you think. Do you want to be part of this future as well? Do you think this could work? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.